Hello friends. Have you ever gone through a difficult season? Are you in one now? Well, I think I have a word from the Lord for us today. In James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4, he says this, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Now, friends, I don't believe God is the engineer of the difficulties of life. I think that's the result of living in a fallen world that needs to be redeemed. However, what this scripture says is that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. So that idea of testing our faith, that's the Greek word dokimion. It's it's the root of where we get the word crucible. It's where we get that idea of the, the difficult circumstances of life being a proving ground, uh, a, a refining, creating a stronger, more genuine faith, producing the steadfastness. Now we can also describe that as perseverance, as endurance. But I think ultimately, when we read about letting steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing, we're not talking about sinless perfection here. We're talking about maturity, Christian maturity, being able to go through the difficulties of life without wavering. And I think that's what the Apostle Paul is talking about in Ephesians chapter 4 when he's describing Christian maturity, that then we won't be blown back and forth by every wave and wind, by every storm, by every teaching. We will remain steadfast, always going toward Jesus. That is why we can count trials as joy. That is why we can rejoice when life can be difficult. Not because it's fun or feels good, it doesn't, but because we know that God is working in us to create something deeper than a faith based on feelings or faith based on circumstances or anything else. Because friends, I assure you, feelings will come and go. Circumstances will change. But the love of God, the mercy of God, the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, these are with us forever in Christ Jesus. So friends, as you go through the testing of your faith, through the various trials that life throws at us. May you bring those in submission to Christ. May you try to walk with Jesus through it. And may you see that Jesus is producing in you a new kind of steadfastness, a deeper faith than simple feelings or emotions would allow. Friends, walk in the light of Jesus and be the light to the world around you, even when it's difficult.